Today's a gorgeous day. Just answered a lot of emails on this beautiful walk. A um, little bit of trouble waking up this morning. I was a bit tired. Uh, very active day yesterday. Built a lot of things. You know, did a lot of uh, exercise. Did sprints for the first time in a while. Had a great time. But uh, today I get my stitches out. Really exciting day for me. Um, getting the stitches out kind of gets me past that whole like, okay, the cancer's gone. You know, it's completely gone. I don't have stitches and everything's great. You know, it's, it's, it's a big milestone. After that, boxing with the kids, which is gonna be fucking great. Uh, podcast, the Gainscast Live is back. Well, now it's live, which is even better. So I'll have Ryan Buckeye on today. And uh, it's good to be back. Holiday week, again on Friday, we uh, fly out to California. Cammie's doing Exos and my wife's seeing her family. But I'll be with Cammie. I'll be at Ambrosia HQ all week from Monday through Thursday, working out of those offices, Costa Mesa. So get to train in Iron Addicts all week. It'll be a great week. All right, I'm officially done with this whole process. Here's the scar. Here it is. There it is. I actually think it's going to be very not noticeable where it's at. Um, Brentwood Dermatology is where I went. I got my surgery at Cumberland um, Skin, whatever. Dermatology up in, uh, what was it? Uh, Lebanon, Tennessee. And uh, they did a fantastic job. They just did. First of all, it was a non-visible place. Like it was not, the cancer was not visible to the naked eye. So the fact they found it, like saved my life. So... Highly recommend this place if you're going to get skin checks if you're in the uh, Franklin, Nashville, Brentwood area. Anywhere around. Um, this doctor I went to is the dude in the practice. I forgot his name, but man, he found cancer. Like, cancer that's not visible in the naked eye. So, really fortunate and blessed to have had that appointment. And I'm completely, completely done. <laughs>
look at my scar, guys. So I'm able to swim again. That felt good. Tomorrow I'm gonna get this haircut. So we went, got some pool action in, got a few laps in, kids are having a good time. Oh, I'm back to 100%. I miss swimming, I really did. I had to take a week off of swimming. It looks okay. Pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna make some chicken livers for dinner. And then I'm gonna um, sauna and go get ready for the next day, right? Good day, feels good, really good day. So the arm workout you just saw was pretty cool. That's my favorite superset when doing arms. Press downs with incline dumbbell curls. I do 10 sets of 10 to 20 and I'm done. That's how I train arms. I'm at home. I try to get organ meat in. Don't make a joke about that. A couple, at least one time a week. It's just really healthy, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to have it too often because a lot of these vitamins can be a little too much. So once a week, you have a good serving of it, and you're good to go. Some people like to eat it every day, the carnivore guys or the head to tail guys. They're big on it every day, and I can see the value in that. I don't see a problem with that. But again, just so, as with anything, just be sure to be cautious of dose. By far the ugliest meal you will ever see. So one way to make it good, new, sugar-free, sweet oh, baby Ray's barbecue sauce. How are they? Does the words fucking delicious make you sound? So can we use that when we actually make ribs and stuff? Right now? We can, but it's not, not if you're gonna eat ribs, you gotta eat fucking ribs. I was ribs. gonna add that to the grocery list. Mm -hmm. Dip it in the barbecue sauce. I always like chicken livers. When I was a kid, there's a place called Pioneer Chicken. It's still there in LA. They used to have chicken livers. And we didn't have the most money. So we would, it was like a dollar for like a bucket of these fuckers, man. And they were like, they had them as waste anyway. And they'd fry them up. And I'd buy like buckets of this and just eat chicken livers and chicken livers. Little did I know other than them being fried, extremely healthy. But... Again, if you can get organ meat, watch it. You can get it in, watch it. Once or twice a week, you're in a really good spot. Now, I wouldn't eat it every day. Again, a lot of vitamin A, a lot of things that can build up in your system if you eat too much. Maybe a couple times a week, you'll be in a very good spot. We always stock the office with FlexProMeals.com. Coupon code LowBlinder saves you some money, but Matt, is it, what is your favorite Flex Pro Meal? Right now, my go-to is the smoking Gun Barbecue Sandwich. So you can have a sandwich mailed to you right to your house? You can, and I don't know what kind of alchemy or magic they use, but somehow they get it where if you heat it up for a perfect two minutes and 15 seconds, the sandwich is nice and warm, but the coleslaw it's still nice and cool. Wow. Well, let's heat it up and see uh, see how it looks when it's all heated up. Do you smell what Matt Morano is cooking? God, this smells good. It does smell good, and it tastes even better. First, let's go with the coleslaw. I coleslaw. I the coleslaw. Thing. What other meal prep could do coleslaw? And it's still cool. I don't get it. I don't know I how to understand it. So, it's a sandwich, but you can't pick it up because, I mean, it's mm -hmm. barbecue. It's messy. So, you got to go in. Get the twist, the twist method. Twist, you get the bread. There's even a little bit of cheese on there. A little bit of cheese. Ooh. That's so good. So the thing about Flex Pro Meals, they make macro to fit every goal. This actually fits my macros, fits Matt's macros. But if you are stringent, they have your normal sweet potatoes, your normal chicken. But honestly, like your macros are similar for things like this. So live a little bit. So if you're looking for a great meal prep company, FlexProMeals.com, coupon code LOBLINER. That's not a game.